Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this absolutely lovely October day, it's very mild, it's nearly November, uh, we are doing a quick video on this uh, freshly arrived uh, 2018 Globe Car Globe Scout. Now this one we have literally bought this morning, I just dropped the gentleman back, uh, back home and uh, it's a lovely, lovely one owner, six metre uh, German built fixed bed van conversion. Uh, fixed bed van conversions are very popular, they love them in Europe and uh, half the van conversion market um, love them in the UK as well. So this is a six metre van, so it's long wheelbase, not too big. Um, 2018 in fully colour coded um, gold and white metallic, which is a very light metallic gold with contrasting black bits. I think this would look really good on some uh, alloy wheels, actually some black alloy wheels, but fine as it is on the wheel trims. Based on the Fiat Ducato, it's the 2.3 uh, with the upgrade 150 horsepower engine, which is quite rare. It's also got a soft close sliding door, so you don't need to slam your door and wake up half the campsite at night, which is good. She's also got the LED daytime running lights. She's got the black style pack, which is the black high gloss grill, high <laughs> black high gloss grill, and a little chin spoiler there. Real nice looking van. Uh, it's a one owner from new. He's done 26,000 miles, so he's used it, but he's really looked after it. It's come in in immaculate condition, uh, or 99.9% .9 immaculate condition, with only one minor dink on a table inside, uh, which I'll show you as we go inside. So we'll walk around the near side first. Now this being a German van, uh, the habitation sliding doors on the other side, because if they were to, obviously this is designed originally for a left-hand drive base vehicle. So if they were to re-engineer it and put the sliding door this side, they'd have to change the entire conversion which for the 30 or so Globe Scouts a year sold in the UK is not economical to do so so to keep the price down um, by putting it on our side so she's 5.99 meters long uh, 2.2 wide with the mirrors folded and about 2.65 2.7 tall um, 26,000 miles price is 49.95 uh, we reckon you'd pay about 62 starting for a new one of these if you could get one and you can't get one by the time it turned up if you could get one it would cost more than that so walking around the near side we've got the tiniest little scratch I've just noticed down there that might even polish out lucky windows and lucky mirrors fuel goes in in there no ad blue on this one from 2018 Main took up, leisure battery, separate cassette toilet locker there, double glazed windows all the way around, which are better for heat retention and stopping the condensation. Flue there for your gas and mains electric heat and hot water. Not all Globe cars had that, some were gas only, so it's a question to ask your dealer, because if you're on main took up, you want to use that to heat your water in your van, not your bottled gas. Speaking of bottled gas, this one has had an expensive refillable gas low system fitted there, so that's the filler point for it. And if I open up the back doors, we've got a bike rack on the back doors and reversing sensors, which is handy, so she's a nice spec. If I open up the back doors here, bike rack will come off if you're not cyclist, by the way, and then you can open up both rear windows. So you've got two opening rear windows in the back doors, an opening rear window there. Big transverse fixed bed, really, really popular. You can fold this away for full height storage and walkthrough access, but even with it down, your storage is huge underneath of there because it's a buy in this one. Gentleman um, had just been everywhere and done everything he wanted to in the motorhoming world, so he'd really enjoyed it, loved the van, uh, and just gave it up because he'd done what he wanted. So he's left some bits in it, so he's left his leveling ramps in it, and he's left the gas low refillable gas bottle in it as well. All two of them, look at that. So this has got twin 11 kilo gas low refillable gas bottles. That'd be about £800 to have that fitted. So instead of colour gas bottles that you swap in at a campsite um, or a petrol station, if you can find one with any colour gas there, you refill this with LPG. Now it's massive capacity and spare room in here for your mains cable and adapters and things, which is also left in, which is great. The advantage is it will cost you much, much less to refill compared to colour gas. You can get it um, arguably easier there's 500 filling points in this country there's five within a 15 minute drive of where we are in south devon but there are areas where there are less but you won't be filling that up very often that could last you for years um but the big advantage is you can refill it all the way through europe which you can't with color gas so if you're doing a lot of european work gas low is essential when this van comes with it your handle for your wind-out awning, which is there, is handily located there. You've got concertina and blinds and fly screens on all the windows, which are the more expensive ones. They rattle less. I always get this wrong on what door to close first. It's that door and then this door. 
bodywork is superb, uh, bar that one tiny scratch which I think will polish out, there's nothing to report at all. Freshwater fill up point, you've got an inboard freshwater tank which is in that cabinet work there, that will be a really good size and it's inboard so it won't freeze. Another double glazed opening window here and in your sliding door and a full length Fiamma F65S awning which is great. Uh, fridge vent for your three way fridge freezer and a nice wide electric step. So cab spec wise, it's got this, say, the more powerful 150 horsepower engine which is great, you don't really need it but it's nice to have. We've got full concertina blinds on all the front and side windows. It's a Euro 5 this one, so it's got all the nice black dash and things. It's got a, a decent Pioneer DAB stereo system. Um, don't know if it's got Bluetooth, it probably has. Could upgrade that to a double DIN one with Apple CarPlay. Well, it does have Bluetooth because there's the little microphone for it up there. Uh, air conditioning, cruise control and speed limiter, central locking, heated wing mirrors and your soft closed door, which is something you tend to see on Globe cars and not everything else. So opening up the side door, Globe Car by the way, they're, uh, they're a German company and as you'll see from see from this, Deathless, they're part of uh, Deathless basically, Possel they're sold as in Europe. Uh, last time I was going around Europe for a month I counted all the different brands that I saw and I saw more Globe Car Possels than any other bank conversion. So they're not used in this country, we are Globe Car dealers and who we like them, um, but they are massive in Europe. So this is a very stereotypical German way of doing a fixed bed van conversion or just the way most people do it. So traditional, very, very, very well built, with very thick wood. Nice table there uh, that can drop down. Uh, on the back there you saw the cushions on the rear bed. You can drop this down, fill in this space and make this into an adult sized single bed. Underneath the table there's a main socket which is handy and you've also got storage underneath the double floor there. Also got storage over the cab, a nice big wind up opening skylight. Two forward facing seat belted seats, so it's a three berth with four seat belts. So you've got your blown air heat in there. Nice simple control panel, the Germans don't go in for unnecessary things. You've got a really nice simple control panel up there with just gauges for your fresh and waste water and an on off button which is all you need. And then your heater controls up there for your gas and electric power Truma blown air heating system. You've also got a fly screen door which is a bonus, a lot of vans didn't of this year. Another main socket for your kitchen up there. Kitchen facilities, not huge because it's a German van, they don't cook inside very much. But you've got a two burner hob and you've got loads and loads of drawer storage which is all nice and not soft close. <laughs> um, so you can carry cooking implements, bring them up here for when you're on the mains. High level cupboards, times two. Two tone uh, lighting up there, that's it, which is nice. If you were to have a television aerial fitted, you could have a TV bracket uh, on here in place of this uh, Scottish thing. He did a lot of work in Scotland, or not work, he did a lot of, lot of holidaying in Scotland, this van. It is mint as well, this, he's kept it so clean, it's a real credit to them. You can ballot vans, but you can tell when they've been looked after, and this is a rare one owner one. So yeah. Bathroom is actually a really good size for a fixed bed van conversion. It benefits from two mirrors, which makes it feel much three mirrors makes it feel much bigger. Um, Thetford swing bowl toilet. Simply lift out that panel, and you've got a shower curtain that comes all the way around the top here to give you a, an actual quite usable shower space. And then that's your shower pulls out from there. Opening window and an opening skylight for ventilation, which is nice to see, and plenty of little storage cupboards and shelves and things in there. So bathroom is actually very good. Your fridge freezer is a good size, I can get into it, so it's a three way one, so gas when you're not hooked up, mains electric when you are hooked up, and 12 volt off the engine when you're driving with a ice compartment in there, and then a good size wardrobe with hanging rail above. Then you're back into the bedroom that we saw from the outside, so you've got a step up there to help you get into bed, wrap round cabinet work, all the way around the top there, I like these little Truma uh, Dometic even movable lights which you can slide up and down and uh, that's about all to report back there in fairness to you've got the uh, plenty of high level clothes cupboards and bits and bobs so storage is good opening skylight two opening windows one opening side window all in superlatively good condition so this is an absolute credit to its one and only owner so this is our globe car globe scout it's a 2018 it's done 26,000 miles but it's one owner it's been very well looked after it's a super high quality van 
It's 4995. It should sell real quick in fairness. This one, so if you're interested, uh, give us a ring today. That's us, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. That's 01626832792. We're at Hybrox Plantation, Newton Abbott, Devon, which is just off the A38 South Devon Expressway, which you can see in the distance over there. This is the busiest, biggest road in South Devon, just south of Exeter. Uh, so give us a call, 01626832792. Nobody answers, it means we're out on the pitch doing videos, talking to customers. You can ring the mobile number 07432662558 or contact us through the website, which is there, www.hybridgecaravans.co.uk and ask about our beautiful 2018 Globe Car, Globe Scout. Thank you very much. Goodbye.